Today we're going to be working on AP Calculus BC B response question 2015, number 5. Before we get started, I'm going to read the directions to the questions. Consider the function f of x equals 1 over x squared minus k times x, where k is a non-zero constant. The derivative of f is given by f prime of x equals k minus 2x over x squared minus kx squared. And for part A, it asks, let k equals 3, so that f of x equals 1 over x squared minus 3x. Write an equation for the tangent, the line tangent to the graph of f at the point whose x-coordinate is 4. So to find the tangent line, you need another point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals mx times x1 sub 1. So what you need to find is your y, your slope, and your x. Your x is already given to you, so x equals 4. So you need to find your y. So you just plug in 4 into the f function. And then once you solve, you get 1 fourth. So then your y equals 1 fourth. Next, you need to find your slope. So f prime, and this formula is already given to you. So f prime of x equals k minus 2x over x squared minus k times x squared. So you plug in 4 and x equals 4 and k equals 3, which is already given. And then once you solve for that, you, you get your, your slope is negative 5 over 6 sixteenth. So then you just plug everything you got back in. So you plug in your y in, which is 1 fourth. Your slope, which is negative 5 over 16 and 4 for your x. And for the directions for part B are let k equals 4 so that f of x equals 1 over x squared minus 4x. And determine whether f has a relative min, a relative maximum, or neither at x equals 2. Justify your answer. So to find a relative min or max, you must have the derivative, which was already given to you. And you, you plug in x equals 2 and k equals 4, which was given by the pro by the directions and once you solve for that you get zero which means now you need to solve for it so you use a sign chart to determine if it's a max min or neither so you have to test the left and the right side so I, for this I tested one so I plugged in one to f prime and then once I solved I got two ninths so that's positive. Then I tested 3. So f prime of 3 equals negative 2 ninths, which is negative. So therefore, f has a relative max at, a, at, a, at x equals 2, since f prime changes from positive to negative. And for part C, it says find the value of k for which f has a critical point at x equals negative 5. So for this problem, you, you, you need to understand what a critical point is. A critical point is when f prime is equal to 0. So in, so this is the formula that's already given to you. And it's at equal to 0. I plug in negative 5, which is, what the, which, which is what they asked for. And I get this. And I multiply this to the other side. So it just leaves me with k plus 10 equals 0. And you solve for k, and you get k equals negative 10. And for part d, it asks, let k equals 6, so that f of x equals 1 over x squared minus 6x. Find the partial fraction decomposition for the function f. Find the integral of f of x dx. So, first you need to separate x squared minus x to 1 over x and 1 over 6 minus x and then you set it into the partial fractions um, setup so it's a over x plus b over x minus 6 equals 1 over x squared minus 6x then you multiply by x squared minus 6 to both sides and you get a equals x minus 6 plus bx equals 1 then you set 
a and you set b equal to zero so so you can solve for a so then you're, you're left with negative 6a equals 1 so once you solve for a it's negative 1 over 6 and then you should you do the same for b so you set a equal to 6 that so you're left with 6b equals 1 so and you solve for b and you get 1 over 6 then you find the integral or then you plug um negative 1 6 and 1 6 back into this formula so you get this and then you find the integral of negative 1 over 6 over x plus 1 over 6 over x minus 6 dx and the integral of this is negative 1 6 ln of x plus 1 6 ln of x minus 6 plus c